Good morning, guys. I'm gonna try my best to squeeze a video of like what I've been promising and let y'all know a little insight of me. I'm having a coffee and I'm gonna do my hair. But bear with me, my TV is a little loud. And my storage is full. But we're gonna have chit chat on. This is just an insight of who I am. And maybe help and you out on healthy. giving you tips on what kept me going in the mix of adversity and <laughs> fix these clippings because you make it a little crunchy. Oh. Right. Nothing's wrong. It's just I can't even get back up. Friend in there. No. How's um, a little friend? I had yes, less. sir. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm actually a horse to kid, right? I hope you guys can hear me. My TV's a little loud. Um, not a horse to kid, but I was given to a family. Friend of a family, so you say. And I'm your wife. Is this best so you say. This is I thought the man was my father. Do you care about our marriage at all? I do. And he's I not. His brother is. Place of support from which I, anyway, I back to what I was saying. No, no, from from um, which I can do whatever I occurs to me to do. I Thirteen, like completely like it was just not a good environment, safe environment, healthy environment. Okay, but would you agree with me if I said that Chris's concerns about this trip to Las Vegas were exacerbated? Unfortunately, at thirteen, that's like. High school, the beginning of high school. What? So, I've I'm never asking. been like a social. Mm -hmm. We gotta get yeah. this to blend in. in. I've never been like a social, <laughs> social. <laughs> but but the people who I one? did eventually they actually does it. gravitate to, I took to. Jesus. Now, unfortunately, you're gonna see how that hindered me but also I will say if I didn't go through that adversity and face the things that I have faced I wouldn't be who I am also I didn't pick my life and I'm asking for your pity I just want to give somebody a chance and an opportunity a fair chance basically thank you so 13 fresh in high school it was this girl, a best friend Joshua of mine, so I thought. Joshua says all superheroes need to build their strength um, sometimes. And she was involved with a lifestyle that I kind of sort of knew of because we're all from this project that I'm from, Slobo, Pro the Street, Yonkers. Joshua was born So, um, at 25 years. my friend, we had sorry, a picture of a bishop. My friend, she was a little older than me, and her kid, she, well, she had a kid. She was like 16, no, she had a kid, uh, but that was... She, she messed with me. Funny thing is, my sister, that was her people, and she always had classes with me, so I remember her like, who, who's your sister? And my sister bringing her to me, like, this is, this is Muka, they call me Muka, I'm like, hi. And the girl, she just was always wanting to be around me, always curious of who I was. It was annoying at first, but eventually, you know, I fed into it. We're gonna bump up a little bit, because I don't have that much story. story. So we end up kicking it, and I always kept money in my pocket. It was one thing around me, like I always kept money in my pocket. Always. In the grace of God. So, what you call that's really why she kept around me because she had a kid and she we had habits. Like, we was, we had habits. We had habits. We was the kids in the bathroom. This one's out of your doing stuff range. you should never been doing. Normally, yeah, but so and I always kept stuff for me. So. Our when the it's not nothing to brag of either. Just giving y'all insight. So I'm anyway, um, you know, we end up building a relationship and getting close. And you know, I would hear little stories say, about sir. stuff that know, she would want me to hear, but it would never be a full insight. Long story short, I didn't know that um, the best friend that I thought was my best friend's father was an imp. I can't say the full word. Use your mind. You fill in the blinks. So. I would hear little stories, but she would never let me um, 
Uh, come across yeah. him like she was always so using my phone because she didn't have a phone just to go saying, she was always using my phone at the time i had like a blackberry a purple flip blackberry we can't call ourselves and, um, excellence this is back in like charge 2012. And be i remember one year and um, one year i don't Sorry. care if you have to administer those this, protests this a dozen times between me, now so and next friday get it right me. I remember um, one day she had got suspended in, in my high school. When you get suspended, you have to come back with your parents. Life so she came back. Well, we you went, the test going we got there together because I would think we like in a fourth period. Can I don't know why. Some? Like now thinking back, like, we thought it was cool, Sorry, but that are. shit ain't nothing cool. We both mm -hmm. mothers struggling. So stay in school, just, guys. Um, anyway, so um, she got to school okay? and her parent had to bring her back, but we got to school at fourth period. So they I'm like, fine. Veronica, Thank you go to class. Me. Why are you late? We call me your parent and right now, you so. call your father or your mom to come up to best. school. Her mom like, I'm not coming. She used my phone, which she right. always do to speak to her parents. So her mom like, I'm not going. I'm not going because you're going to be suspended by the, like the next day. So her father comes up to the school, right? I will never forget my outfit. I I'm old. I have always been like very creative. Like I was the type of kid that. All right, I, you're not gonna buy me stuff. I'm gonna make something out of what I have. So, in particular, that day I had wore my favorite jeans that I had made designs out of beach and. Ooh, I'm we disagreed. Sorry. I had made designs out of beach and I had a gray hoodie that I actually got right now. I got it back from my little sister. So, um, in my body, in my shape, was just out of this world. I was 13 and I could tell you I was 18 and you'll believe, you'll, you will believe it because of my shape. Like, the shape that I had was just out of this world. Like, I was 13 wearing a size 19. You do the math. So, the surgery, though, what you call it? I go to my class with my best friend, like, um, meet me at the stairway because we had class together. That was just everything. We always had a plot twist to something. So, I met her. She had my phone. So, I met her at the door to open the door for her father. Coincidence, right? The father she always speaking of, the father I always heard of, the father's from the same town, while the same projects that I'm from that actually. So for the person that's supposed to be the foster father, was a dealer for him. Listen to this. This is how crazy this is. So when you see me celebrating a birthday or holidays by myself or my family, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. It's for a reason, baby. So anyway, and I'm so grateful and so humble. Sorry, this world. So anyway. I open the door, he goes to the main office, which is like a few steps away. My best friend's right there. No, we'll he's supposed to be again. logging his daughter into right. school. He's like, I'm going to call her Tiff. He like, Tiff, who is that? She like, oh, that's my friend. That's my best friend. I, like, I, I, I didn't want you to meet her. I didn't think nothing of it. I just ran to my... um classroom because i was always used to like older got like attracting older weirdos like just because of my shape alone not let alone my beauty and clearly older mature people could see who you are before you even know who you are and that's their way of stealing it like that precious innocent child like so anyway sick about all this and i run back so to the class lady. but meanwhile no. listen to the story no, she only uses my phone so i run back to the class to i'm not knowing person, excuse me i'm not knowing that you know she her father on her body so like nah who was that like i need to know who that was bump everything else who was that so um it's I get to um, a classroom and my phone is going off. So I'm like, yo, what's wrong with your father? She's like, oh, nothing. Like, brush it off. What we doing later on? We going to get, um, hey, me, what you going to get? What you want to get? Whatever. So I'm not thinking nothing of it because I already got some bottle. I told you I always kept shit on me. Like, that's just was the type of kid I was. Well, I was a kid. But that's just the type of person I was. Like, I will babysit to make sure I had my money. Like, still the same way. Like, I was making a point. Um, so anyway, the house was in me, not on me. 
okay? So anyway, um, back to what I was saying. I digress. What you calling? You know my phone is going off. Go my little black brain is going off. Sorry, that's the name. Tiff, everywhere I look, Tiff keeps trying to grab the phone. Today. I'm like, yo, what is going on? It's How okay. Are like, it's gonna hi, be I just okay. want to well, ask sure you a question. Was you the girl with the bleach <laughs> pants? I'm like, got yeah. So go. he's calling back to back to back. I'm like, yo. First of all, I had my own boyfriend in the school. Like, in the school. We was never being loved. Me and his man and ran across the whole world together. Like, that was my, my dog. Like, my, my love. Not to mention, he had knocked your fucking head off. Like, that's just how he was coming. So, yes. him calling, calling, hey, calling, calling, job. calling my phone. When when I might be in a library with my room or some shit. It's a grown she? ass man. So, I didn't really know how to approach the science. I'm like, hello, he's like, I just really want to know, like, what guy you want to get us me? He's like, what can I do to you? Like, to her. What can I do for you? Like, I didn't know this was the number my child was using the whole time. Um, it's Friday, Twilight just came out. I can take you to the movies. I can bring you bottle. Like, you, you, you do herbs or whatever I have, whatever you need. Me, at 13, walking around telling people I'm 18. That's all I need to hear. I ain't got to do too much for, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, I end up telling my homegirl, like your father, you know that he said he's going to do this, I'm going to the movie, da, da, da. she mad, but she not saying none of it. Like, all right, you, you get this stuff, I'll meet up with you later on. Last conversation I had with a friend. Now, the stories that I did know of was he was an imp. You put the words together, I cannot say the full word. I will not say the full word. Um, so I knew history and I knew girls who had affiliation with him. I, I knew, I knew of it. We knew of it. Like your daddy? The projects knew of it. Very known. Very, very known. Still to this day. So what you call it? Actually, one of the girls that he had as his bottom was. A friend of mine. Like I lost so many relationships. For something that I guess was destined for me to be able to sit here to tell you this story. I hope it don't cut you up, but if it do, I'm going to find a way to break it down so everybody collectively can understand. Because the moral of my goal is to stop any 13-year-old, 11, 12, 16-year-old from not having enough love with them to know your worth to never devour yourself as a vessel as a well-being so what you call it um i tell her she like all right just get the bottle go to the movies or whatever and i meet back up with her long story short i end up we never even made it to the movie i think we we did we did like two down, yeah, two days later on. And but down. From that moment of meeting him, I left. My foundation of being a child, what I considered a father, my sisters and brothers, I, just, I just left. The loan was approved. And I got introduced to a lifestyle that was. Um, Speaking of praise reports, it was it was Kevin. it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot, and um, well, excuse me, everyone. Only thing I could really bear back Terry to think is how bad it really had <laughs> to be for me to leave. What I know to go into I something so down, scary, so, so unknown, <laughs> no love. <laughs> In a hungry ass city, city town. He promised to therapy that he would stop giving my body. No so, anyway, of doing so. I didn't know what he was an M. I ended up becoming the, the bottom. Um, can read I gave him my like 10 years of my life no, to that lifestyle. I'm a recovery I addict of Andrew Dust and therapy. other sub substance that I have overcame me in the most high without no we had without no to support do. actually everybody in my corner have I'm told sorry. me I couldn't and I wouldn't especially when I had my children 
um, we're having twins i'm now four year five oh. years strong off the streets and it's just amazing um in the mix of the adversity and facing you? that i could say 30? i don't know what oh, helped me was I thought it faith. Would make you sad. It was so many times I you had to face to seem like you liked it here. real. What did she talk about? Like life and death situations, Five and stories? you don't have that opportunity no, to cry. Or I don't have my mom or nobody oh, really cry. I had my grandmother, yeah. but it was it's only bit but so much. You know, yeah, I even let her know of. It was moments yeah, when at 13, 14, 15, I was thrown with grown women put around me asking me what to do. See, this is why I didn't and not you. even knowing. Well knowing what sad. to do, but figuring it out step by really step. Sad, um, I can honestly sad. say, by the time I was 15, it was 15 mm -hmm. girls. And I'm the only one standing. And that's the grace of God. She talks about you more. And that's not by accident. Bad or good? Um, Why would so, you say bad things? I'm so grateful to be able to tell a story and not drop a tear. Because let me tell you something. Um, I don't think... And this is that's a glimpse of what I face. I don't think I will be who I am <laughs> if I didn't have to face them trials and tribulations. You're but so I'm here good. as a vessel to give back <laughs> to who's willing to listen, who's willing to learn, who's willing to love. And find yourself in the mix of whatever you're facing. And know that the Most well, High is there. He's going to sure. carry you through but it. I want it back. He's going to carry you through it to tell your story, baby. Yeah. Love and light. Hope you enjoy.